Horse racing is a different world than anything else you can go into. I think I've got high standards and I don't suffer fools. Can't, I haven't got time for fools. I want somebody who's keen, wants to learn and get on. You've got to keep having winners, that's the only way you keep going forward. And the more winners you have, the more um, success you get, the more, more to keep this lot in employment, the more we attract new owners. But if people don't want to listen and learn, that, that I don't want them, they might as well go and work for somebody else. Because I don't want them, I want them to do it my way, and my way only. We've got 60 horses in here at the moment, all ready to run really, all, all on a progress. Whether they're going to run in two days, or are they going to run today, or they're going to run in a month's time. And so that's my, that, that's my whole waking hours, is thinking about them, keeping them sound. That's the main, that's my hardest job, is to keep them all sound. It's like the trainer know what you think, and, you know, and hopefully you know, he can build on that. And then, um, you know, really get them, get them ready to go to races. And, it's my aim. You know, this is just one part of the job. The real buzz is being on the racetrack. In this game, you know, you, especially where I am at the moment, bottom, bottom of the scale, it's going to be, you know, I have to work harder. Now they give in, but it's too easy to give in, you know, it's just got to keep at it, keep at it, keep working away, keep chipping away. I've said it all along that, you know, there's nothing, nothing better than making it in your own country. Now it's the nicest study you can do, Tom. Good luck. Oh, enjoy it. There's, there's, no, there's no pressure, just enjoy it. Get, get the buzz every time, yeah. Every time. Probably like a drug addiction, you know. You know, once you get the taste for it, you know you, you want it. You want it again, and you want it again. You want it again. Everybody's got to be given an opportunity, and so uh, I always give. Uh, I, you know, I love supporting young people and, and giving them a chance, but they've got to want it. And there's nothing like it when you have a horse that you know you've looked after, and all of a sudden it wins. It's the most amazing feeling. I get a thrill though, whether we win a seller or we win a. A big race. It's just having a winner, which is what everybody wants. It gives me a thrill for the owners. If I have 35 winners, I've had a nice season. If, if we have 50 winners plus, then we've had a reasonably good season. I'll be happy with that. Travel well, Andy. I thought, it, well, I thought we were just going to. And I thought we were just going to sneak through then at one stage. One stage. <laughs> Absolutely delighted, aren't we? Yeah, pleased. We yes, really, really are. Pleased. He's run really well. Proved his point. Two, what, two happy owners. What a yeah, miracle! What a day! <laughs> what a difference, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it's got to be fun. It is fun, isn't it? The whole game's fun. But anybody can own a horse nowadays. It doesn't matter who you are. You can own a you can own a horse or some part of a horse, and enjoy it. I've got to keep going. I've got to keep trying. Keep chipping away. You never know what's around the corner, especially in this game. You know, one minute you're up there, next minute you're down, and now, you know, there's only one way up. I feel good, he's run well. It was a good first time out. First time out, horses run this year. And, um, what about, I'm going to be very pleased. How do you feel about it? I feel great, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>